The AR-15, M16, M4, this black rifle, is ubiquitous. Everywhere you look, everywhere you go, you see some derivative of the Armalite rifle. The gun is so widespread that every other rifle's success is affected in large part by how it compares to the AR. This has led many great bullpup rifles to fail. There is no case more infuriating than that of the FN-2000. Look up any torture test, forgotten weapons breakdown, or talk to anyone with time on the 2000 and you'll find that this is a solid innovative rifle. But it looked stupid and had ergonomics that made John America Man confused, so FN switched focus over to this piece of shit. Sadly, many bullpups met similar fates, but one rifle persisted, a rifle so good that militaries and civilians alike could not overlook it. That rifle is the AUG. Produced in 1977 by Steyr in Austria, the AUG was a very forward-thinking rifle, a built-in optic, polymer magazines, and a piston gas system. The rifle comes with a streamlined barrel switching system. Anyone can swap a barrel without a toolset, making maintenance and optimization easier than with most weapons. The rifle averages at about 7.8 pounds depending on variant, of which there are a few. The Classic A1, the Rail System A3, the 9mm SMG variants, and the F90 derivatives are some of the worthy mentions. It's been adopted by the Irish, Austrian, and Australian militaries. Its pop culture prominence started in 1988's Die Hard, which older gun tubers won't let you forget. But we aren't talking about movies, let's get into the games. With that, I introduce you to the fantastic world of gay sex. The AUG has had its strongest presence in Call of Duty, never as the versatile tool that it truly is, but as a high fire rate quasi SMG, sometimes literally an SMG. My favorite iteration is in the original Black Ops, specifically in Zombies, since it's mid in campaign and multiplayer, here it serves as a powerful zombie shredder, with its optic typical of the A1, allowing for better range capabilities. It's balanced by how fast it burns through ammo even while pack-a-punched, allowing it to fit into the sandbox as a high tier gun, but not a top tier gun. Oh, it's also anachronistic for those of you that care about time-accurate guns in your games. RE Revelations is low-key one of my favorite third-person shooters. In the campaign, Jill spends a lot of time relying on a very traditional Beretta and pump-action combo, here depicted as the Mossberg 500, which is my favorite shotgun. So when she finds an AUG A1 in the flooded portion of the ghost ship, it feels like a big upgrade in power for the player. It's a great stunning weapon for quicker enemies that leap out at you. It puts down weaker foes or opens up the stronger ones for melee criticals. While the rifle falls into the weird middle ground in the game's raid mode in terms of how powerful it is, it makes a standout impression in the campaign. Fuck this sandbox, everything I hate about MGS4 is on steroids, a handful of guns worth using, and a million others that are fucking useless, like this AUG A1, or should I say, SUG. SUG my fucking nuts, you scat fetish piece of shit. <laughs> my favorite depiction of the AUG platform in games is the F90 in Ready or Not. Not because of how it's a cool depiction of an AUG, but because it shows one of the greatest strengths of a bullpup. You see, rifles chambered in 5.56x45mm are dependent on barrel length for power. The round was originally designed around the M16's 20 inch barrel. This length would allow for the round to pick up enough velocity to leave a minimal entry wound with a devastating exit wound. That's why an M16 is more lethal than a short barrel AR. That being said, the CQB operations a SWAT team is expected to carry out are much better suited to the maneuverability of an overall shorter length weapon. So how do you achieve this without compromising the velocity granted by a longer barrel? Go bullpup. A bullpup is characterized by how their key functional components go behind the trigger meaning a longer barrel can be utilized without being as long as an overall conventional weapon. 
In Ready or Not, you get this, the ideal package of power and maneuverability that an AUG would be in this situation. There's a prolific YouTuber called Civilian Use Only who mainly focuses on Ready or Not content, and he acknowledges that the F90 is the meta, but he refuses to use it because ew, bullpup. Which is ironic given how this tends to go exactly like this in real life. Honestly, I'm disappointed that the AUG isn't better represented in more games, but I'm proud of how, like in real life, it refuses to die. It's the ultimate for those who know rifle, that's lucky enough to look super cool so that devs keep including it, even if it's just a throwaway weapon in some cases. The AUG is one of the best modern rifles in existence. I can't stress enough how useful it is to be able to change out the barrel that way. A lot of people, when they tend to rate rifles, they look at it strictly from a military perspective. The logistics, how infantry groups work out and all that kind of stuff. But with an AUG, as a civilian fighter, it's really hard to beat. It's overall compact enough, even with a 20 inch barrel where your mobility won't be compromised, and as a civilian that can't rely on air support or a group of guys to back you up, moving around is going to be important. Being able to switch your barrels on the fly, adapt for a CQB or longer range shots is also going to be invaluable. The AUG also comes with some proprietary 40 round magazines, and again, as a civilian who isn't going to get supplied at a base every other day or so, having magazines that can hold more and still feed reliably is going to be a godsend. Now a lot of people say that this rifle hasn't really been updated for the modern era, but you could put whatever kind of optic on this you want, it's a great suppressor host, and there's tons of stuff that you can do to the AUG to make it modular. Is it going to be as modular as an AR? No, but few rifles are. That being said, the AUG should not be overlooked or considered obsolete. I hope more developers can showcase this rifle and how versatile it is. Like, I can't stress enough, it would be super cool to have a game where your actual damage of your weapon is dependent on barrel length, so you have to switch out barrels between, you know, a 20 inch barrel or a shorter, like, 13 inch barrel, depending on if you're going inside or outside, and you as the player have to be conscious of how this barrel length is going to affect the overall weapon. It's also very unique looking, and there's enough variants of this rifle that developers can really do whatever they want with it in regards to balancing. So um, yeah, the AUG is great, both in real life and in games, and in both real life and games, there's so much untapped potential with this rifle. But anyways, what do you guys think of the AUG? Have you had any time on it? What's your favorite depiction of it in a game? Let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, this has been Pliskin Boy, over and out. This is Solid Snake. Hey, subscribe to Pliskin Boy. God damn it. You heard him.